All right. You guys need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Me and James or Mill. Why are they doing this? As near as I can tell, the barrel service markers. They're leaving a trail. My theory is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted off! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Complications of maintaining a ship. <laughs> we need more speed! Let him down the sail! Nathan, you take the foremast! James, to the mainmast with you! I am! 
Alright, do it. I guess I go up this way. Make it simple. And then we drop down here. I almost missed. I probably could have gone the other way now that I think about it. But I didn't really want to. I thought that would be easier if I just went up the middle. Oof. Ta ta. You won't be chasing anyone anymore. Day 72. My goodness, it took so long to get from one place to another on a ship. <laughs> I wonder if it still takes that long. I wouldn't know because I've never traveled by ship. Though, if I were to travel, it would be my preferred thing, because I, I'm going to be honest, I'm deathly afraid of flying in airplanes. <laughs> it's my fear. Now you know. So maybe one day I'll know what it's like to travel by ship and how long it takes. <coughs> maybe. It depends on if I want to travel somewhere, which is a possibility, but it's not a huge possibility. It depends. Because maybe one day I'll have a reason to travel somewhere. Or maybe I just will want to take a trip. Who knows? Hello? Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The girls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Climbing. Again. The gist of Assassin's Creed. You climb everywhere. It's been a staple of the Assassin's Creed series since the very first Assassin's Creed, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon, clearly, because he's still doing it in the newer games. Title screen. It's like the first hour into this game, almost, almost an hour, is how long it takes you to reach the title screen. I'm just going to run. Because I don't like standing still in these places. Aww. The jerky movements! <laughs> I can't laugh without coughing, my god.
ten minutes in already. We're almost through with this recording session. Sequence to Boston, 1754. Already. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city. Help you, sir. No, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to me. Are you by any chance, John and Isabella, sir? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Bradley, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives. I thought... Yes? I'll confirm. Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of yourself, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Someone stop him! I mean, I could fast walk, but I'm too lazy to do that right now. I'm just Boston's gonna... Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Enjoy the Once scenery. Once you in, I suggest you take some time to walk this course. Who knows what opportunities you might see? Hold on, Mama. We need to flesh a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange the horses while you do that. And also just enjoy the music, because the music is just wonderful. Me and my love for video game music. Uh, hello, children. How long do they follow me? Thank you, I think. Is this a doogie? It's a doogie. Hi, doogie. Yes, I will pet you because... I love petting the dogs! It's like the best part of this game. <laughs> I think they also allow you to do that in um, Black Flag too. I'm an animal lover. Of course I'm gonna stop and pet the animals. I could sit there and do that all day, but then we'd get nothing done. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was wrong. The old Vulcan fire. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's wrong. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. First I ever... Benjamin Frank, pleased to meet you. Nathan Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? Still possessed of virtue <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I I don't mean to impose, but you seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I. It's all right, don't run at me. If you have the time, hurrah. If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it? You'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> that was interesting. It was interesting. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I don't have anything to sell, unfortunately. Normal weapons. I how? 
Well, I can't tell how much damage it does, but oh well, whatever. I'll take it anyway. Firearms. I probably won't even use the firearm that much, because I barely use the guns in these games. I'm more of a freaking blade person. To be completely honest, I prefer bladed weapons to guns. I'm weird that way. I guess it's because I grew up playing fantasy shit. And I'm not a big fan of guns. Doggies! Doggies! I'm gonna do this a lot. I'm just warning you now. Pet him again! Yes! Okay, I'm done. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is that I'm the boss? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and made me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Hi. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself foiled by calls. And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. These people. I can't really avoid you because you're getting in the way. Cut the horse off mid nay. Hi, Piggy. Give you some food. Piggy piggy. Piggy piggy. <coughs> that lion, cheating no good son of a bitch. Perhaps you've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already left rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Ah, uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Alright, on that note, I'm almost done with my recording session for the day anyway, so I'm just going to stop here. It's a good place to stop. So... I guess I'll be recording more of this next week.